Oh, what is this? Is this a door? Oh, wait, that's a... Uh, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I promise. Alright. So let's get out. And... Ooh, now we have two statues and two switches. Ooh, so hard. Alright. This one, and then that's gonna open the door. Okay, so in here we got like a little miniature box puzzle. But all you have to do... Dang it. All you have to do is basically push this block right here. You have to push it up and then like over a little bit. And then you can just simply cross the boxes and get to the other side. And you can do whatever you have to do in there. Okay, so no, don't climb. Grab, push. And then push. That's all you have to do. No more than that. Don't make it too complicated by trying to uh, do more with that, or else you'll just end up screwing yourself up. Okay, so I'm going to light one of these. And I don't think I'm going to make it. Dang it. Alright. Well, they give you plenty of sticks, so if you happen to drop one down here, you don't have to worry. Because after they basically get down here, you won't be able to get them back out, because the water will complicate that and make it not possible. Okay, let's try this again without failing this time. Okay, hop. 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 Ooh, okay, got it right at the last second. Okay, and that's going to make a chest appear. And let's see what we get. It's a key, okay. It's cool. It means that we've gone to the right room. And, oh, that's nice. Just make a bunch of chews appear. And those electric ones can still hurt you in the water. So watch out for those. Alright, so. Where can we go now? I think we actually need to head over to the opposite side of the room. Because I believe there were some walls we could bomb. And I bet behind there is where we will um, find a locked door. So let's just slowly make our way over here. And I really wish they would have put wind in here. Like even if it was just blowing in one direction, that would still be okay. Okay. And I think it doesn't matter which one of these you blow out, but... Just go and blow out those two. Yeah, it looks like you can't bring King over here, so... Alright. Got another yellow chew. Die. Okay. Alright, you're gonna want to light one of these torches. And bring it down here, because there's something that we have to... Do this with. Okay, and that makes a chest appear up here. And I think it's nothing more than some rupees or something. It's not something too important. But it's always good to just see what it is. Okay, and... Oh, a joy pendant! Okay, that's nice. Alright. Alright. Yeah, yeah, said the flock of people with joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we want to go through this door. Not the one down there that was locked. Well, actually... Okay, yeah, we'll need to come back here later because... There is... Yeah, these annoying little bastards are called bubbles and we'll see more of those later. But uh, there's actually a treasure chest in this room, but we can't do anything with it right now. So all we can do is get this chest, which contains the compass. Okay, well I guess that's only for that one room where it shows the map and everything. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a chest behind this wall. 
but there's this eye thing, and we can't really do anything with that, so... Yeah, don't really worry about it, because we'll come back here. But it won't be until after after we actually complete the dungeon, because there's actually a point where um, you won't really want to turn back. So, now we do want to come through this room down here. I'm going to electrocute myself. Can I? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad, or it's it's worse than I actually did that um, in water. All right, so a whole bunch of orange chews or yellow chews. Go and kill these guys, get them out of the way. All right. Hello. All right, and yeah, we need this statue. Alright. Simple as that. And we just need to take this back up here where there's another one of those little pedestal room things. Place it in there. And that's going to kind of like redirect the water flow so we can get up through there. And that is exactly where we, where we will be heading next. And that's kind of the point where the dungeon kind of breaks off. And what the heck? Did the water just like rise and then lower like very quickly? That sucks. Die. But yeah. We could probably actually use the Deku Leaf to fly across that when the water's high. I'm not sure. And we don't even need to get King to get over here. Anyway, this is basically the point where. Um, the dungeon kind of just continues after this. We don't come back to that room anytime soon. So, and, uh, holy crap, there's a Beemos. I don't think you can actually kill these guys. And they're kind of like my least favorite enemy. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab a statue. And we're going to need to get both of these statues over here. But make sure you avoid the rats and the Beemoses. Or the Beemos. How would that be plural? Plural? Would it be Bemoses or just Bemos, and still be plural and singular? Anyway, so then we do this, and that's going to activate these pillars. And I believe that there's actually a tingle, or the tingle statue for the dungeons in this room, but I'm not really sure. And if that's the case, then I'm going to need to get my uh, Game Boy Advance out so I can do it if the tingle tuner is in this room. And I believe it is. Because I think that's what that platform's up here, or that platform up here is for. Okay, I'll wait to get on it. Yep, I think it is. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and break this uh, off here because I'm up to an hour in this recording. And I'm also going to grab my Game Boy Advance. So I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And uh, as you can see, I've already called Tingle and got the Tingle Tuner set up and everything. And I'm not going to do what I did in the last part, which um, I like went and uh, like recorded the Game Boy Advance with a crappy camera and it just turned out all bad so I'm not gonna do that anymore that was just a bad idea from the start cuz I don't even have if I had a better camera it would be alright but I don't so anyway um, Tingle saying hello come in are you there this is Tingle are you within, within the Tower of the Gods <coughs> yes okay so I'm gonna go move over here to this platform or what I believe is a platform and he says Check it out! Wow, it smells of treasure. What might it, what might you find, sir? Okay, there's a solid object here. Well, let's go ahead and bomb it. And, uh, well, maybe we didn't have to bomb it. Wait a sec. This is the room with the Tingle statue in it, isn't it? I swear it is. And if not, then slap me and call me a, per a faggot. I mean, not not that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, I didn't mean to say that. That was totally offensive, I did not mean to say that. Anyway, that rat is like going crazy over there. Well, let me check my guide. Okay, blah, blah. Oh yeah, this is the, uh... This is the, uh... The room with the tingle statue in it. 
but it just for some reason is not appearing. There's a solid object here. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, let me like go through the room and then come back out. Maybe that'll do something. I wonder why it's doing that. Okay, hold on. Come back in here. Okay, let's just try bombing it this time. Okay, what the heck? Wait, do I have to kill the two rats? I bet I have to kill those rats, because I killed them last time and then it appeared. So he's like, let me kill these rats. Hey, watch out, when you enter the- what the hell? Damn, you freaking distracted me. Freaking tingle. Watch the way the Beamos moves! Okay. Alright, now what? Okay, oh crap, and then I dropped my Game Boy Advance. Alright. Uh, let's try to get up here again, and maybe now it'll appear. Try this again. Try this again. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. Because for some reason the tingle mark is not getting completely on top of there, which is why... Okay, wait a second. This place is really creepy. Okay, well that, that worked. That worked. Okay. But it did blow me all the way down here. But, that's okay, because it worked. And my Game Boy Advance died, like, right at the same second that that happened. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can still get the Tingle statue, just I won't hear what Tingle has to say. Oh, well. I don't like hearing Tingle talk anyway, but... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I can still get it. So this is the third Tingle statue. So, whoopee! You got the goddess Tingle statue. It's salty seawater coating. is kind of gross. I'll be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Okay. All right. Well, enough of that. And I just threw down my Game Boy Advance again on purpose. So anyway, coming through here and. Uh, I think there's only like one room that's gonna be open and that's the room we have to go through. Yep. Right over here. And uh another chew. And we're actually really close to getting um the main item for this dungeon, so it's something really cool to look forward to. Okay, come over here, you stupid platform. Yep. Okay, we can't do anything with that eye statue, and you'll see what we do with these eye statues later. Okay, and I guess I didn't need that either. <laughs> Alright. So this is kind of weird. Let's go ahead and check out this tablet. Seeker of the Goddesses Guide Post. Press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Okay, well. Come on! Come on! Stupid ta uh, statue. Alright, so, we need to get this statue guy all the way to the opposite side of the room. And we can't pick him up and carry him, so we just have to get him to follow us. And he is a little slow, uh, but the good thing is is that he won't fall off of the sides like you can. So, just kind of make sure he keeps up. Oh, crap, no! I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well, let's try this again. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, because if you just try to get too far ahead, he'll get, like, stuck at, like, corners or something. Because he's really retarded. Alright. Hey, they could have made it worse. They could have made it, like, a little tiny, like, skinny platform. That would have been really bad. But at least they're generous enough to keep it somewhat simple. Okay, and then at this point you can pick him up. And you have to, you have to jump across? Yeah. Alright. 
Don't try to throw him or else you'll just mess yourself up. Okay, and jump over here. Good thing those choo-choos didn't make it over here. Yep. Else I would have been in some trouble. Okay, and take him back to this main room. And he'll get up and get into his position. And there's still two other statues that we have to do this with. So... But these basically represent the three gods. As you'll see by the color of each of them. Like that one was blue and the other ones will be green and then red. And hey, a thing appeared and it looks like it's the symbols of the Wind Waker. So it looks like we're going to learn us a new song. There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. So left, uh, right, uh. So, left, uh, right, uh. Left, uh, right, uh. And you have to make sure you push it to the left so you can get it in 4 4 time instead of 3 4 time. And you learn the command melody, okay. And what that does is it lets you... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to explain it. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their paths of truth to open the gate or the path to the gods. Yeah, so it basically lets you take control of statues and even people, as you'll see later on in the game. Alright, so the next door that opened, I think, is the one to the left. Yep. So let's move on. Alright, bubbles. I hate bubbles. Die. Would you please die? Please. Haha. Uh -huh. I kill you. Okay, I don't think there's much we can do about this one. Oh, okay, well. We can knock him into the pit. That always works. But yeah. So we're going to need to uh, grapple across here, and... Okay, I guess we just got to keep going this way. Go straight ahead of us. Okay, here's the next statue. And we got to grapple across this path, too. Anyway, did you see the boomerang when I threw it? Hold on. <laughs> Look how quickly it comes back if you use another item. That's weird. I never noticed that before. Alright. So let's call him. And... Okay, so what you want to do is just place your statue right here. Make him sit there. Then... Do this to activate another light bridge. And then we want to do the command melody. And we will take over the statue and control him over to um, this other side here. So the controls for this are very, like, ba like very, very basic. You just move. And if you want to go back to the normal link, you just push RT. Or R, the R button. Okay. And we will be able to just grapple back across here. Whoops. Not like that. Okay. And we can just take him through the door. And there's a switch over here. Put him on that. And that'll open this door over here. And I bet King is going to try to say something to us. I think basically he just tells you that you can leave your statue um, in any room you want. And that it's not going to go anywhere. So just remember that. Because that's what he's going to say. Yeah. Okay, swing back, and then swing forward. Jump! Okay. Yeah, so don't worry about your statue, because it'll stay back there. 
And here we go. Locked door. Big scary monster. God, you know what this means. 